and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to buy bull call spreads and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A bull call spread, also known as a call debit spread, is a vertical spread option strategy that involves purchasing a call option that is close to or at the money, while simultaneously selling a call option with a higher strike price on the same underlying asset and expiration date. This results in a net debit, so you pay a certain amount to enter the trade. The goal of the trade is for the underlying stock price to be above the short call at expiration, leading to both options expiring in the money. If that happens, investors can close out the trade at a profit. Bull call spreads allow traders to participate in an upside price movement of the underlying asset, while limiting the cost of entry. The maximum loss is limited to the difference between the premium paid and received, otherwise known as the net debit. The maximum profit is limited to the difference between the two strike prices, that's the width of the spread, less the premium paid. Using bar chart, you can look for bull call spreads, and here's how. Bull call spreads are best used if you're moderately bullish on the market. All that's left is finding the right underlying asset, and the bar chart option screener can help you find that perfect trade. To get started, go to barchart.com, click on options at the top, and click on bull call spread. You'll be brought to a results page where important information like bid ask prices, trade leg details, max profit and losses, and ITM probabilities will be displayed. And these are all essential to trading bull calls. Most of the information you see on this page is enough to get a bull call trade started. However, if you want to customize your results further, click on the Set Filters tab. Once you click Set Filters, you can see the Options Screener page where you can then personalize your results. There's a few default filters here, and I'll leave them on, but of course you can add or remove them in any way that you'd like. In any case, let's get started customizing this screen. First, I'll go to the Days to Expiration filter, and I'll keep the default setting, which is between 60 and 150 days. For debit spreads, I like to trade with a longer expiration because it gives me a lot of time to adjust should I need it. While there, I'll also click on the Weekly Expirations checkbox. Over the Security type, I'll also click on the ETF checkbox to include them in the results. Next, I'll go to the Moneyness filter for leg 1. Remember, that's the long call strike, so I'll change that to at the money, or ATM, which is 5% away from the current trading price in either direction. Lastly, I'll scroll to the bottom of the list where it says ITM probability. ITM probability is an excellent measure of profitability because the maximum profit for a bull call spread happens when the underlying stock price goes even one cent above the short call strike. Remember that higher ITM probabilities mean lower profits since there's less risk. So for this example, let's use 50% here because that will balance safety and profit. I can also add additional filters if I like, but for this example I'll keep it as is. Now I'll click See Results to see a list of my bull call trades that match my preferences. And here we have the results. Now you can also save your screener by clicking on the Save Screener button and give it a name. And Bar Chart will email you the results at your predetermined time. Okay, so moving back to the results. I want to pick a trade with a high probability of expiring in the money. And I can click on any of the column headers to arrange them from highest to lowest. So I'll start with ITM probability and then pick a trade from there. 
And there we have it. I particularly like this trade idea with Microsoft as the underlying asset. For context, the stock is trading at $443.52 at the time of recording. So, the screener suggests buying a call with a $430 strike for $28.05 and then selling a call with a $435 strike collecting $24.45, and that results in a net debit of $3.60 and a maximum profit of $1.40. The trade expires on September 20th, 2024, and has a 57.64% chance of expiring in the money. Now that we have our trade details, let's discuss the potential results. Fast forward to September 20th, and let's say that Microsoft is trading at $450, above the $435 short strike. That means the trade is in the money and is at its maximum profit condition. To calculate the maximum profit, take the difference between the strike prices, then subtract the net debit. For this trade, that works out to $1.40 per share, or $140 per contract. On the other hand, if Microsoft's price goes below the $430 long strike at expiration, say to $425, then the trade is out of the money and it's at its maximum loss condition. The maximum loss on a bull call spread is the net debit paid at the start of the trade, and you calculate that by subtracting the premium received from the premium paid, and that works out to $3.60 per share or $360 per contract. Now, here's how the trade would look like if Microsoft's stock trading price moves up or down through expiration. Let's start by calculating the breakeven price. To get that, add the net debit to the long or lower strike price. So for this trade, that's $433.60. So as you can see, as long as Microsoft stock trades above the break-even point of $433.60 at expiration, there will be some money left at the end of the trade. And if it goes above $435, no matter how high, that's okay too. You'll end up with a net profit of $140. Same on the downside. Anything below the break-even point results in a loss to a maximum of $360 on this trade. You can also screen for bull call spreads using specific assets by going to the stock's profile page on barchart.com, Navigate to the left-hand links, select vertical spreads, and the bull call tab is selected by default. And of course, this also gives you the results page with all the usual details plus a few additional functionalities. So let's say you have a specific strike price in mind. You can change the strike price based on either the leg 1 or leg 2 with just a few clicks of the mouse. To do that, go to the Show Only drop-down and select from Leg 1, the Long Call Strike, or Leg 2, the Short Call Strike. Then, indicate the price that you need in the Strike field and click Apply. You can also change the expiration date by clicking on the Expiration drop-down. To further customize your trade, click on Screen at the top right of the results box and click on Set Filter and then add or change whichever values you prefer. Once done, click on See Results and that's it. Since a bull call involves selling an option, you also face the risk of early assignment. Usually, options are exercised at expiration, but there are exceptions. Early assignment happens when the short option is exercised before the expiration date. And this only happens with American-style options. And since you want the short call to be in the money at or before expiration, you face an elevated risk of early assignment. So, what happens if you're assigned? Well, if your short call is assigned, you'll be required to sell 100 shares of Microsoft for $435 each. 
But remember that since you're holding a long call for the same asset, you can also exercise it and buy 100 Microsoft shares for $430 each, regardless of the price that stock currently trades at. And that closes out your trade a bit early, and you'll end up with a $5 per share profit on the assignments, minus the initial premium paid, which works out to $1.40 a share, or $140 per contract in profit. Bull calls have several advantages. The strategy has a defined risk and reward ratio, which is great for risk adverse investors or those trading with small accounts. It's also more cost effective than buying a long call outright and best used when you expect the asset to undergo moderate price increases within your chosen expiration date. But as they say, there's no such thing as a free lunch, so let's go over the disadvantages. First, of course it has limited profit potential. Your profit is capped from the get-go, meaning your maximum profit is the maximum you're going to collect on the trade. It's also more complex than single-leg trades, so it might be a bit more difficult for beginners to initiate or monitor the trades. Finally, bull calls result in a debit, which means you're going to pay to get into the trade, plus any trading costs. Bull calls work well in moderately bullish markets, and their profit and losses are defined, so they're excellent for risk management. However, it requires precise market timing and price movement, so your best bet is to trade using an option screener to increase your chances of success. If you need more information about bull call spreads or any other trading strategies, visit the Options Learning Center.